This story happened around last week, and it started off with a knock on the door. My mom and I go downstairs to open the door. I thought it was an Amazon package, but when we open the door, it's two girls with a booklet in hand looking like they want to sell us like some magazines or something. We're in this year's National Leadership Contest. These two girls say they're partners trying to win this National Leadership Contest, so they're going around door to door trying to sell some magazines. At this point, I got like my first warning or like red flag feeling because I was like, what company wants to host a contest that is based on door-to-door -door selling during a pandemic. The only reason why I thought of this in the first place was because they weren't wearing masks. So I'm like, if these people are going around door-to-door -door with no mask on, just like talking to people, trying to sell them stuff, isn't that like counterproductive to the pandemic? So I was like, okay, this is kind of weird, but I'll just stay a little bit further and I'll listen to their story. I'm gonna go ahead and trade you. These are how we earn our points. They explained that they have a catalog of magazines that they want to sell to us and each one has like points. So they hand my mom the catalog and my mom's trying to look through to see which magazines to buy. At that point, I was like, I've never heard of this national leadership contest. So I was like, maybe they go to my local high school. So I'll just ask them about like what school they went to. Maybe I could get some more info about this contest. The first girl goes like, we both went to Santa Ana for high school. That was the second flag where I was just like, wait, this doesn't really make any sense. Because I was like, Santa Ana is 12 miles away. Either these girls are like super motivated where they're gonna go 12 miles away from their high school to try and sell these magazines or something doesn't really add up. My mom then says like, okay, we'll just choose one of these magazines. And the girl is like so insistent. She's like, out, so you're supposed to pick out two, four or six. I'm just asking you to pick out two so I can get one and she can get one. But after negotiating, we just decide that we're only gonna pay for one magazine. Each subscription was $70. And honestly, we're not gonna read this magazine. So we were just like, we're just gonna pay for one so that way it'll help you out. The girls are like, okay, one magazine's fine. Can you pay in cash? My mom doesn't like paying cash to strangers, especially door-to-door -door salesmen. So she's like, we're gonna do check if that's okay. The girl's like, okay, yeah. Can you make it out to this company called like SHS? And I was like, SHS, I've never heard of it, but sure, we'll, we'll continue on with this, whatever. Maybe Santa Ana has a SHS that I've never heard of. My mom goes, okay, we'll be back with a check. And then the girl's like, actually, we've been walking all day. Can you also bring us some waters? So we go, my mom writes the check. We grab the waters, we come back, we give them the waters. And then the girl takes the check, she looks at it. And then she goes, actually, this doesn't really, can you change this check and make it out instead of to SHS? Can you write our names? And then she says, my name is this. And then she looks at the other girl and then she goes, and what was your name again? At that point, that was my like red flag, red flag. Hey, something doesn't add up here because if these two girls have been walking around all day and they're partners in this competition, how can this one girl forget the name of her partner that she's been with like this whole time? So I was like, too many things don't really add up. So I'm going to go and Google it. While the girl is trying to convince my mom to go rewrite the check, I ask her, what was the company called again? And she goes, SHS. So I Google SHS. No company pops up. So then I go, okay, what was the competition again? And then she hands me her like competition slip that shows like the competition and her name on it. And I like, I'm like, okay, national leadership contest. And the first result says door to door scam. I show my mom the phone and then the girl sees that and then realizes that, oh, it's over. And then she quickly hands us the check back and it says, have a nice day. Okay, bye. And then just leaves. My mom and I were a little confused. So we're just like, okay, sure. And we close the door. We look at the article a little bit longer and it says it's like a normal scam that goes along. It's like a traveling like caravan type of thing where they just go across the whole nation and then everywhere they go, they just try to sell these magazines. I guess the moral of the story is that if anyone comes up to your door trying to sell you something, first thing you gotta do is you ask them their business, and then second thing is you Google that business to verify that it's legit. Looking online, people say they also sell like candy and like books, so I don't know if magazines is the only thing that they sell. I'll link below the article that I read about the National Leadership Contest, and otherwise, yeah, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.